Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad and welcome back to Super Mario Galaxy. So, before we go back into another level, let's head on out because there's a hungry Luma here now. Hey you! Yeah, you! Got any tasty star bits? If you feed me a bunch of star bits, I'll burst with snacky happiness and then transform. I am famished, I need 400 star bits to curb the hunger pangs. So we have to feed this hungry Luma in the Astral ob Observatory. And he's asking for half of my current star bits. That's it, I'm stuffed, here we go. Transform! The sweet, sweet galaxy has appeared. So we do have extra galaxies to do in the Comet Observatory. So, let's go and do Rocky Road. And I'm feeling hungry now, because this entire place looks like food. Oh, I'm wanting to eat it. But anyway, we have to run along this path and get over these electricity bars. Oh, and this is good music as well. Okay, remember to long jump and then probably spin at the end of your jumps as well. I can't go any further. Don't stop here, the star is right around the corner. Okay, cool. But over here, the... Oh! I bonked into the wall because of the long jump. I don't know. Bonking into things is not he not healthy. Anyway, let's try this again and not fall off immediately. Whenever you die, the star bits respawn in the level, which means you can keep infinitely collecting star bits, but you probably don't want to die over and over and over just to collect star bits. Unless you do, which is also probably a good way to grind. Just need to find a good spot for it though. But anyway, we're almost at the end here. Got inverted holes, also known as platforms, and we can jump across, and then there we go, we got a power star, and if we get up this cake, I love mint chocolate, oh, what did you say, hey, we're going back, oh no, their starship is completed, oh no, also these things around here, if we spin in the middle of them, gives us star bits as well, so, Let's grab the star and keep going. It's not very long, but it's still pretty good, so... And galaxy complete. And we've discovered a new galaxy. The last one of the Terrace. It's Terrence! I'm gonna, I'm gonna go a little bit insane calling it Terence. Anyway, don't have to worry about talking to people, but it does look like the Toad's ship has been completed. We've finished building the Starshroom Starship. We'll use it to search for power stars, and we, the members of the Toad Brigade, will be the brave crew. And this brigade needs a bold leader, so I nominate, um, well, me. Under my command, the galaxies will see the bravery of the Toad Brigade. See you around the galaxies! So yeah, now they're gonna be even more everywhere. It's cool though that they have a ship and they've called it the Starshroom. Hi there, Mario! Our buddies in the garage want to tell you something. Well, I already talked to them. I, 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 I'm sorry to tell you this, but I already did that. Anyway. We have discovered an enemy base in the region. We can only hope that they are not misusing the power of the, that poor Grand Star. Well, let's find out. We have two new galaxies to go to right now. I'm going to start off with this one over here, which we've already technically seen, I'm pretty sure. Maybe? Or maybe not, I might be thinking of something else. Probably think about something else. 
But we have Flip Switch Galaxy, so let's go ahead and do that. Painting the planet yellow. This is the entire galaxy, by the way. And it's also got a Super Mario Bros. 1 background, which is also cool. But basically, in this entire galaxy on this one planet, we need to light up all these switches, and then that's about it. Careful not to fall into the black hole. Once you've already stepped on a panel, though, you can keep jumping on it because it's still pressed into the ground. When you stop off of it, though, it does pop up again, so you need to be careful not to press it down again, so... There are some advantages to staying on the platform that you've already lit up. But anyway, this guy is also sending out shockwaves of electricity to shock us. Sorry, we need to dodge that. Oh, dodge that platform because it's got spikes on it. And once we've lit them all up... There's the star. Still need to be careful not to die, though, because there are still hazards. I believe these platforms stop moving though, and the electricity's gone. Actually, no, there aren't any hazards, other than the falling off, of course. But this guy's head is also a spring that we can use to spring up to the star. <laughs> Brings us up to nine and galaxy is complete. So those question mark block planets, galaxies, do seem to be only one stars per each of them, but I'm... I'm not gonna just assume that they are, are, are all, until I see them all, probably. But anyway, now it's time to go to our Bowser level. Bowser Jr's robotic... robot reactor. There's a Bowser level at the end of each world. So let's go. Mega Legs Moon. Here we go. This music is also pretty cool. Now we've got this um, launch star stuck in this glass cage here, so we can't get that out. We've also got these Goombas, which have helmets on. So we need to spin them to turn them upside down and then jump on them to kill them. So, same kind of idea, just with a little bit of a difference to make you do things differently. Anyway, let's get this bullet bill to break this glass open for us so we can use this launch star. That's all it takes. And let's keep going, because it's not going to be long now, since we're already going to this planet over here. You made it! But I won't even need my dad's help to take care of you. Go at him, Mega Leg. Stomp him with the power of your Grand Star. <laughs> so, this planet sized machine is the boss we have to fight. We have to go up its legs, which have sensors to know that we're here. And luckily also gravity helping us get up. So let's just keep going. All the way up to the top. Got a lot of bullet bills shooting at us, and we need them to break open this cage here with the powered Grand Star in it. But at level 2 security now, we've got a little bit of a problem because we can get the bullet bills to uh, try and get this open. They can collide into each other though, which makes it a little bit of a problem. Come on, follow me. This way, this way, this way, this way, this way. No, don't crash. We have to try and get them up a little bit more to try and get them up this way, which is a little bit difficult. Okay, let's get them into this. Please. Nope. Okay. This is turning out to be very difficult so far. Come on. Crash into that. No, not each other. 
crash into that, which breaks open this cage, and then slam into that. You can also get the bullet bills to go over the top of the cage to try and not have to break it open, and I'm pretty sure it's fairly difficult to get it through the hole sometimes. And I think it also repairs itself, I'm not sure, but anyway, that's all you need to do is just get it in there and break it open. We've unlocked the fountain, as a new dome. That ball of flame represents the power of the observatory. We call it the beacon. When you recover a grand star, a, li uh, a little power star will be restored. A star power will be restored, and the beacon will grow. The comet observatory can use that power to fly through the universe. Once all of the power is restored, we will even be able to fly to the center of the universe. Alright, the power of the, is on the on in the new a new dome. The newly opened dome is called the fountain. It's really quite relaxing. By the way, have you looked at the map? It contains information about the galaxies as well as domes. If you forget the location of a dome, don't hesitate to speak with me. So yes, what he's saying is actually very useful. If you talk to him in inside of a dome or um, outside, hang on, in here, would you like to see the map? Here you go. He will show us the map, which means we can actually go to the star list by switching, and we can actually see what levels we still have to do in each each of the um, observatories, so, or domes. So let's head over to our new dome. You can also talk to these pink loomers. Wanna go to the sweet, sweet galaxy? Yes. Okay then. And they will transform into the launch star for you so you can get back up to the galaxies that you've already gone to. This is the same with levels that you've already got the hungry loomer inside of as well, so. Anyway, let's go to our new dome. The fountain. I like the fountain, it looks cool. We can talk to the Black Loomer here as well for the map, but for now, let's check out this new galaxy. Space Junk Galaxy. Pull Star Path. If I can... Do it, thank you. Okay, here we are. Let's pull use the pull stars to get from planet to planet now. Which is cool, and this music, oh my goodness. So good. Where am I going? This way. We have to use the pool stars as a chain. Oh, it's so cool as well. It's so cool. Depending on the momentum you have when you let go of a pool star, will also keep you going to the next planet as well. So you need to keep that in mind. Momentum. It's a wonderful thing. Okay, let's grab these shards while we're here. Since we have to. Okay, grab that one, and that one. We also have to not get shocked by those balls that are moving around. Okay. Let's grab these star bits. 
they don't just keep flying with you forever. Grab these star bits as well. So many star bits. This is also a rocket here, that's cool. I mean, it's not like a proper one, but it's still cool to see. Oh, don't go down this way, go back up that way. You can spin to get out of your bubble when you're floating around, so... It's good to remember. Okay, we're getting close to where we need to be, so let's keep going. If you're not close enough to a pool star, you can't use it, so... You have to kind of... Slowly make our way towards them. You'll see them when they're dark, and that's when you can't use them because you're not close enough. Anyway, here we are. Got these spider like things. Let me get rid of those if I can. I like to jump around. And up here, we have some toads stuck in this ice. Where'd my glasses go? Please help my other friends. Where's that confounded power star? There's also a Goomba as well. But for freeing them all, the starship Star Shroom comes down to, to say hello. Oh, I didn't mean to get here yet. Anyway. Da 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 da! Mr. Mario! As the brave captain of this of the Toad Brigade, I've already discovered a, a shortcut to the power star. Take the Sling Star at the top of the Star Shroom. So yeah, the Toad, Captain Toad, and the Toad Brigade is actually helping us get to Power Stars. And now, over here, these platforms will appear only when we get close to them. It's also cool because they don't just appear, they actually move to where they are. Don't have to worry about them not being there before you get there, you just have to know that they're there and then jump for them. Okay, we've also got these silver stars here that we need to collect. These silver power stars. The way that this works is, if we can get five... Hang on, I have to actually collect them all. They also follow along with us, which is cool. Until we have all five of them. But once we do have all five... They merge together into an actual power star. So now we can go pick that up. Just need to be careful not to accidentally jump off the edge. And there we go. You got a star! There we go. Starbits, you've discovered a new galaxy. In the fountain. So let's save. And let's have a look at it. It's a question mark block, block galaxy, so that means there's only one star. Rolling green galaxy. One of the fun ones, I guess. Rolling in the clouds. Also, for motion controls, just quickly, you can use a pro controller uh, and still point at the screen, so just thought I'd mention that. Hey now, if you're thinking about just rolling that ball away, you'd better listen to old billboard here. First, jump on. Jump to get on top of the ball. Get on the ball. Alright. You're on. Now try to match the guide on the bottom right. Pointing the control straight up. Right, that's it. That's what we call the basic position. From that basic position, tilt the Joy-Con or the Switch itself. To move that ball in the d d that direction, then press B to jump. If anything gets in your way, smoosh it. Anyway, you'll learn more by doing it yourself. Good luck. So now, by using motion controls by tilting the uh, Joy-Con, which is held straight up to be not moving, 
But we can go fairly fast in this thing, so we need to be careful with this. And depending on how fast you're going, the music changes, so that's also cool. And whenever we get into some of these holes, they will launch us in different places. Enemies basically can't touch us, but they can still make us knock around, which is bad if we fall off the edge. So, anyway, we can see that this bowl has a power star in it, so we need to find a way to get that out. So, let's keep going. Down in this hole, please. Please. Thank you. And let's go down this whole thing here. Super fast. Okay. We also can't really get... Oh, we can actually kind of get star bits while we're on here. It's just not a good idea to try and use the pointer. Oh my goodness. Go super carefully. We're also going to have some things trying to knock us off in different areas of this at some point, but not right now, luckily. I'm just going to leave all of those and just try to survive. Oh, oh, careful, that's a hole. My recommendation would be no, don't try to get the, um, the point to go where you want it. Just have it on as you're just trying to roll normally. And that's about it. So anyway, we have a split path here so we can go either way to get to that hole. We just need to be very careful on this path. But I prefer to roll than have to roll quickly and jump the other way, so. Oh, there's a lot of things there. Let's grab as much of that as I can. And let's get to this hole. I kind of like to think about this as like a gigantic uh, control stick, basically. But there we go. Once we get into this hole, it breaks open, giving us the power star. Oh my goodness. Let's just get up this flagpole. Once we get to the top, let's just jump. Flagpoles, or poles in general, just like trees and poles in previous games, works, works exactly the same. Just jump onto it and go up and down. Once you get to the top, you can do a, an extra flip forward for extra height as well, as long as you tilt up. And galaxy complete. New galaxy as well. So, let's take a look at that. It's an actual galaxy as well. Battle Rock Galaxy. Definitely one of the more memorable ones. In my opinion. Battle Rock Barrage. So, I'm we'll going to start off by collecting these blue chips. Oh, coins as well, I guess. We don't, the coins aren't as important as the other collectibles that we can get. Oh my goodness, gravity is being super weird right now. Okay. This is fine. Let's get this other ship. And that one as well. And this one over here. And actually, I think you can get that launch star without doing all this. Oh my goodness, gravity. What's in this? Another coin. Also, these things will knock you around. They can't actually hurt you, but they can probably knock you into things. Like what you need to get, I guess. Uh, but if you jump on them, I don't think anything happens. Yeah, you just bounce off of them. If you spin into them, you actually do defeat them getting star bits from them, so... But anyway, enough of that. Let's go over here. Actually, I think what you're supposed to do to get this is to triple jump, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, let's just keep going. We're all the way over here. And there's a lot of star bits over here. I'm gonna use you to bounce up here. And now, on this thing, if we spin, it bolts it in. So we'll screws it in, that's the one. And now the platform is moving and these things are now electrical, so we need to dodge everything now. Basically. Just dodge on this moving platform.
things being shot at us is also bad to touch, so careful of that. Oh my goodness. Even these walls of electricity. And I believe if I get this question mark coin there, shoots out star bits, which is cool. But that's pretty much all we need to worry about for right now. Is surviving. I jump over that. Also, some of these cannons look really weird, like that one there. Anyway, we're at the end now, so let's just oh have gravity be weird on us. We can jump across. And there's the star we need. Also, these enemies are interesting because you don't get star bits from them. You always get coins from these enemies. Okay. Just like how there are some enemies that you always get star bits from. Anyway, we need to get these bullet bills to break open stuff for us. If I can do that, that'd be good. Uh, I don't think I'll try and get these star bits, but I'll try and get this bullet bill. Not that way. Silly thing. Also, down here is a 1-up, but we don't need that right now. Let me try and get you to follow me. Get that, and there we go. I wonder if Rosalina has an important message for us. It seems that a prankster comet has appeared somewhere. Prankster comets have a very have very strange effects on galaxies. If you want to learn more about these curious comets, ask the Luma who knows about such things. So, we're gonna do that now. So, if you talk to this special Luma. Hey ho! If you need to know anything about prankster comets, I'm your Luma. How can I he help? Tell me more. That prankster comet is always stirring up trouble, trouble, making galaxies go all crazy. Speedy comets limit the amount of time you, ha you can spend there. Daredevil comets leave you with low life. Cosmic comets make you race a mirror of yourself. Fast foe comets make your enemies move faster. Now the fun part is trying trying each one out. You can also talk to him to get him to move them. Because a lot of the galaxies in the game will have prank prankster comets of varying variety. And whenever there's a prankster comet, you probably want to do it straight away because it's an extra star. They do appear at different times after you collect a star as well, so. This is this is why you need to check your map, basically, is to see if there's a a this this shooting star icon. So, let's go to Good Egg Galaxy with the Speedy Comet in orbit. Whenever there's a comet in orbit, you only get to the, to to choose the star of that uh, comet. So, Dino Piranha Speed Run. So this is exactly the same as Dino Piranha, but we have only four minutes to get as to the end, so we need to go quick. Spending time around with a timer is not a good idea. Just gonna skip that, Luma. I know it's rude, but I need to because I have a limited time to get to the end of this level and beat the boss as well. Ow, that's fine, I'm gonna take the hit. Oh, careful though. Don't wanna take too many hits. Oh wow, how did I grab that? And not get hit. Anyway, there we go. Let's use this launch star. 
we need to keep going. Ow. Get up, Mario. Also, I want to grab a coin if I can. Just so I don't die. Because that's that's the other thing you need to be careful of. It's not dying as well. Also, I'm pretty sure that we can actually skip a huge chunk of this by doing that. So... Get that. Go, 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 go. And I don't think there's any way to increase the time. There might be, but I don't think so. So just go fast, basically. I know it's a little bit scary at first, but once you just do it, it's not too bad. If you run out of time, you lose a life. That's all that happens. We've got plenty of lives. And lives don't even matter really that much, if you think about it. Because every time you get a game over, you just get more. It just means that if you've got an invisible checkpoint in a level, it means that you have to redo that level from the beginning again. Or also, I don't think I've mentioned that yet, is there are, there are, um, if you die, there are checkpoints, but you don't actually know where the checkpoints are. They're usually on the planet that you you just arrived on, basically. Or possibly a previous one, but I don't know. For sure. But anyway, with about two minutes, seven seconds remaining, we've pretty much done this already. And I'm pretty sure the timer keeps counting down even if you've defeated the boss. So grab that star quickly. So there we go. And that is it for this episode. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.